Islands, off the coast of East Africa. A honeymooning couple capture a horrific sight with their video camera. An Ethiopian air jetliner is flying dangerously low over the ocean. Suddenly, the plane breaks apart and crashes into the shallow water. Just 20 minutes after takeoff, three suicidal hijackers storm the cockpit and refuse to let the plane land. Now, out of fuel and running on only one engine, the pilot is forced to ditch in the ocean. Local residents race to the scene and mount a rescue effort. Amazingly, they find survivors. Among them is American businessman Ron McFarland, who remembers the pilot's terrifying last-minute warning. There was an announcement by the pilot himself, in very clear English, we have run out of fuel, please staff and crew members take the appropriate actions for a crash landing. Another American, Franklin Huddle, couldn't believe what he was hearing. It wasn't until the pilot came on and it became clear that something had gone horribly wrong. Passengers panic as the plane plunges into the sea. Franklin describes the chilling moment. That engine caught in the water. A hard bump. Then it really dug in and it was like a 30 or 40 mile an hour car accident. And I said, uh oh, I'm dead. All Rom remembers is that it happened very fast. The impact, the tearing up of the aircraft, the people throwing into the water, this is all less than one second. The violent crash causes Franklin to black out. When he finally regains consciousness, he's still trapped in the wreckage. But his seat has been dislodged from the floor. I woke up and I was floating in the water. My seat felt still on. But then I said, I'm alive. I looked immediately from my wife to my right where she'd been sitting. And she was gone. And I looked very quickly to my left, just like that. I started with my head, and I saw my wife sitting there. And uh, I said, are you all right? She said, I'm okay. The three hijackers responsible for this terrible crash were killed instantly. Looking at the mangled wreckage, it's hard to believe that 50 people could survive the tragedy. They owe their lives to the brave men and women of the Comoro Islands, who reached out to help in their time of crisis.